serious on your blogging and yes, sir. you know doing yes, content. Ma'am. Tell me why that's so important to you. All right, so artists, this is some advice I'm gonna give y'all real quick. It's gonna take two seconds to give it to y'all. When you try to make money as an artist and fund yourself using your streaming money, forget about it. It's not gonna come in right away. It's gonna take three months for your distributor to get out to you unless you got tune cord, and that's an event, and they're gonna take the rest because it's an event. So if you want to make some money to fund your what I say to do is to vlog 15 minutes or longer and run ads on your vlog because um you get paid faster on YouTube. You get you can pull your money out on the 22nd of every month. Um, and you get your money in the same day, so you see your money accumulating from those ads the same day. And if you get paid sponsorships and stuff like that, you get, you get extra check, you know? I love it. Okay, so you're getting paid off your blogging. Yes. Oh, you use that to fund your music. Yes. I love it. Smart, smart. So what are some of the things that you want your brand to represent about you? I want my brand to represent the future, um, technology, the youth. Um, the future is technology, so... I'm from the islands of Dominica, so it's funny for me to say that. I'm from the Caribbean, where it's all trees and water and, and stuff like that, so. Shout out to my Caribbeans, my Haitians, my Zos, what's up, what's up? my Trinidadians, yeah. But I realized where the world was going, and the future is technology. Japan is one of the most advanced countries in the world. I think they need to catch up, so I'm in America right now, so I'm willing to help. Awesome. I like it. So one place that I saw you tap into was you were at the House of Hits in Miami. Yes. Talk to us about the presence that that studio has in the music industry. The House of Hits is a, a very, very, very important studio in Miami. Um, I go to Miami a lot. I love Miami. All my people that's from Miami, shout out to y'all. Um, DJ Mix and Master is the, all the track, most of the tracks you hear in the industry today came out of the House of Hits. From the Migos, Offset, to, to Kodak Black, to J. Khaled, to Kanye West, last album was all created at the House of Hits. So if y'all if y'all serious, talk to Vinny, tell him Naeem Ray sent you, and he'll show you some love. He might give you a discount on some hours or something. He definitely like discounts. <laughs> so when yeah. when are your singles that I like um Shanty? Am I saying it right? Shanty, your single, your music single? Oh Chanty. Yes, dope single. Were those your vocals on this song? That's my vocals. The song, I didn't drop the song yet. I'm a YouTuber first, but I'm an artist. I'm an artist first, but I'm a YouTuber first, because that's what pays me to fund my music. I put a lyric alert. Chanty was just like just some something I put out there. It's not it's not it's not something I'm taking too serious, but you should take everything serious because you never know what's what's the one, you know? So but yeah. I got a lyric alert out of it. I'm so cold where my heart used to be. And that, that stuck out to me because you know I, I be going through stuff in the industry. So what was something you went through that turned you cold that kind of you know made you like tighten up a little bit? In this industry you gotta be very careful when you place your money, because your money is your investment, you're your investment. It's a lot of shady people in the industry, and I ran across a few shady people in the industry, and it taught me to do better business and to, to put myself around better people. Like coming from where I'm from, you know, we came from the streets. I know all the street, I know all about the streets, but I took myself out of the streets, not saying that I, I don't love it, but I found a better way to help those that are in the streets. So by me taking myself out of the streets and coming back once in a while to fund them and help them and show them a better way than to just, you know what I mean, kill each other, go to jail. I lost a lot of friends in the streets to gun violence, to, to prison time, to stuff like that. So I, I see I see, and I learn. I pay attention to what's going on around me and I adapt and I, I, I grow from that. I love it. I've experienced another dope single that you have. Um, I see that you you tap into your emo vibes. Yeah, with, with your, your style. So talk to me how, about versatility and why that's so important to you as an artist. As an up-and-coming artist, you need versatility. Why? Because you don't know what your brand is. You don't know who you are yet. You're growing as an artist. You're trying to figure out who you are. Um, you want to throw different tracks out there. Throw an R&B track out there. Throw a rap track out there. Trap track. Emo. Whatever. And see what the people gravitate to from you the most. Because Not because hip-hop is the most prevalent thing in the industry today. That means it's for you. You got to figure out what the people want from you. Like, I don't want to hear nothing about health from somebody that's doing drugs in the streets. You can't talk to me about health. If you want to talk about help, I want to hear from somebody that's really taking that help serious. So you got to figure out your lane, find out what's for you, and, and go with that. Beautiful, I love it. And uh, you're actually one of the artists I see that's shooting videos with the iPhone 14. Say, saving some money without getting... Are you shooting the videos yourself? I'm doing everything myself. How did you master... Y'all, I see him shooting music videos with the iPhone 14. It's super clear. It's definitely giving black magic, black pro. I'm like, how is he doing that? 
So it's a few settings in the iPhone that a lot of people don't set. They just use the factory mode. So just go into your settings and play with your settings and see what's best for you. And always shoot your music videos on 2X instead of 0.5. When you do that 2X, you get a, a better camera feel and put it on cinematic mode. That'll help a lot. I like that. So what's next? What are you giving us? What's next? Um, well, this was next. I'm doing it now. Shout out to Lila with Carisha. <laughs> I always want to do this because we've been talking for what? Over a year now, about coming up, right? I think more than over a year, about two years. So I think it was about time to come up. Shout out to DJ B Moss, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Scott Morris, I heard he was coming tonight. Hopefully he comes. That's another guy in New it's York. Is Scott here? Not sure. Okay. But if he is here, y'all need to tap in with him as an independent artist. He'll put you in the right lanes. B Moss is somebody else you can talk to. Carisha, obviously I'm here. So um, just connect with the right people. You want to build good relationships in the industry and not because of what they do or who they are. Just genuine. I love it. You, you ready for some hot seat questions? Yeah, for sure. Let's get to it. Y'all ready for some hot seat questions? Yeah, let's get to it. Y'all gonna have to be quiet out there. Y'all so loud. I don't know. If y'all ready for some hot seat questions, make some noise. All right, then. DJ Marshall, you ready for some hot seat questions? Be more. Let's get it. Where was the last place you had good sex? Come on, My bedroom. In my bedroom. That's my woman right here in the green dress. If y'all oh, know, she's she really she's beautiful. Thank you, I appreciate she it. She looking at, she gave me this out like you better not say nothing slick. I like um, it. If we talking about the best place that I, my favorite place that I ever had sex, in the back of my Lexus. The back, shout out to the back of the Lexus. Where would, um, where would you never take a girl at on a first date? Where would, I take a girl at where would you first? never take a girl on a first date? Oh my God. I don't have that answer for you, I'm not sure. Would I take a girl on the first date? Um, wherever she wanna go, wherever, whatever makes sense. Who is the finest female rapper in the game? Finest female rapper in the industry. Natural? That's tough. That's super tough because I don't, I don't think I ever- Natural, the finest natural female rapper? Hell yeah. I don't think any of them are natural. R.I.P. and Chant. Well, was she a female rapper that was natural? She was dope. Was she natural though? I mean, Enchanting. you mean natural like no BBL? I think, I think she was, I think she was natural, right? Yeah. She, I, I'm not sure on too many natural female rappers because they all, they, I, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Right, I love it. We gotta go back in that. Smash or pass, Tiana Taylor? Pass. What is the best characteristic anyone can have? A good heart, loyalty. What should a girl never be caught doing in public? <laughs> oh my god. That too. She should never be doing that in public if it ain't with me. Um, what should she never be doing in public? Giving another man more attention than me. If you could have sex in one position for the rest of your life, what position would it be? He said missionary. Um, I don't know what it's called, but if you like, you lay to the side, on your stomach, oh, okay. and she put that one leg up, yeah. something like that, something like that. For the rest right? of your life though? I mean, yeah, that's yeah, cool yeah, now, yeah. but when you turn like 50 and 60, I mean. 50 and old. Keep, take, hey, y'all take some sea moss, take some moringa, and y'all will be good. Take some sea moss. Doctor, okay, there you go. Doctor said he was dropping on top of his knees at 80 some years old. Take some sea moss, you got it. Would you rather collab with Quavo or get $10,000 in cash? Collab with Quavo. $10,000 really ain't too much. And I think a, a, a Quavo feature would do a lot more than 10,000. Have, have you ever had sex on FaceTime? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. No, nah, I never did that. <laughs> no, nah, I don't think you ever did that. No. If, you, if you could instantly become an expert in anything, what would it be? Whoa. NASA scientists. I like that. Plug in social media links. Where can they follow you at? Oh yeah, you can find me at N-A-E-E-M-R-E-I-G-N on all platforms, www.naeemrain.com, and that's it. My indie artist, Naeem Rain, check Thank me in all the way from Jersey. Follow me everywhere, you know where to follow me at, at Carisha Diva. As always, stay fabulous, stay blessed, peace.